Welcome to Sagecraft. Uh, this is my project. It's uh, from a play called Camel Dung and Cloves. It's about four girls. It's a one act. There are only four actors, which are the four girls. The first is the older sister who lives in the house with her younger sister. Those are the only two of the people in the house that you get to see or interact with. And then there's a really brainwashed girl. And then a girl that's going to be brainwashed. She's the visitor. So the older sister has invited the visitor to come to her house and basically just have a tea party. She's going to pay her $50 for it. The play progresses, and soon her little sister comes in the room and warns the visitor that she probably needs to leave because she's not in a safe place. She doesn't listen, and she stays there because she wants her money. The older sister comes back, and then she mentions a friend which confuses the visitor because the visitor was invited there because the older sister had no friends or so she thought so it turned out that the visitor was actually brainwashed she showed up and she said nothing she didn't react to anything and the entire the entire process of the play was the older sister basically brainwashing this visitor to be basically a doll like her other friends just to sit down and have tea parties so it's a pretty simple set. It just calls for a stagnant set that only is a little girl's bedroom. So I started out with just, I wanted to decorate the room with some animals, little animals. I repeated it a lot because it would have been really, really, really annoying to make all the little different ones just for this right now. And then I have a clothes basket that she would put some things in because she's messing with clothes when the visitor shows up. The door. This is the only entrance that they would need because they all enter and exit through this. It's very simple. I enjoyed that. And then here's the table that the tea parties happen on. It's just a small little table. A dresser just for her clothes and basic needs. A bed for sleeping with the box under it because that's where the box needs to go. And then a nightstand. I made a few color choices on purpose. Like the red. Red usually tells people danger, so I wanted the red as the lamp and the box because they're supposed to be very dangerous. But throughout the play, you don't have any idea it's really dangerous until towards the very end of it. It's very subtle and calm, so I kept the blue to kind of distract you from the danger like the woman is in the play herself. Uh, for lighting effects... Besides overhead lamps actually illuminating the room, some of the time, I guess I would want to, to, about evening, it's pretty late in the evening, I'd have lamps back here shining in through the windows from backstage to make a cool little lighting effect that would happen in the evening. That's all, thank you.